Okay, I made it. I made it home. <laughs> Woo, long day, long day, long day. I am sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. But I'm here for the Final Fantasy A2. Emmy, you don't remember having corn, huh? <laughs> It's happy to see you too, my friend. I also added uh, this command. <laughs> I can't wait to add sound effects in the future. Definitely going to have fun with that. But uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Those shoes are $8,100. <laughs> oh, it's just a cute little little thing. I'm gonna actually be right back. My eyes are a little yucky from moving and shaking stuff, but I promise I will be starting here soon. Give me one second. Okay, that's back. That's back. Oh, it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, Tuesday tends to be my longest day in the office. So between the hour-long commute one way and an hour commute back, sometimes my estimation of time is a little rough. So I'm thinking I might shift Tuesday streams to Friday, or at least plan to not start till about 9 p.m. Um, first week of trying a schedule and seeing what fits and what doesn't. And definitely today, <laughs> it was not a match. It was not destiny to be here at 8.30 p.m. Tomorrow and Thursday is a little easier because those are days that I'm here um, and I'm not commuting two hours. So should be easier to keep on track for those particular days but definitely tuesday i'm like no it was not destiny <laughs> how's your uh week get getting off to emmy getting things organized and ready to settle in for the day for the evening Ooh. Get a screen loaded up. Oh, what do you think of the overlay? Isn't it adorable? I built it while we were watching that really spooky movie. Um, I just was like, froggies are cute, and I guess it's my brand right now. It is. Oh, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. You know, especially the camera element with the little frog up there. I was like, that is so cute and precious, and I love it. Um, it makes me so happy. Alright, I don't even remember <laughs> where we left off on our adventure. I think we did some sailor mooning and were able to get our crystal tower. 
that's the last thing I remember about this game. Uh, you had to redo your office since work sent you so much. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. I was just dusting my office yesterday and I'm like, I have so much stuff and I don't know where to put it all. Once you kind of get in a groove though, you kind of figure it out. Two computers, each with two monitors. You gotta get one of those fancy setups with the, you know, the rigging with all the computer screens on it, I guess. <laughs> all right, save data. Do you remember where we were? Okay. I think I need to go to that little thing in the cove. I don't know. Why won't you go there? The city at City and Tower. I believe that's where we're headed next. Uh, they offered to send it to you. Uh, only your team has fully migrated since you used to belong to another company. <laughs> Woo! Sounds like they're trying to get things organized, huh? Oh, it's called the Leviathan. That's cute. We're gonna get sucked into the butt. Uh-oh. All right, crystal rod in hand, time to head and soon tower. But as you approach, it opening up the line and start the ocean. If you're concerned with keeping any of Layla's equipment, remove it before you approach the island. Okay, good thing I read that guide, because I think she's got some special items that I don't want her having. Uh, the main company you work for is pretty on top of things, which is nice. Yeah, I know you definitely had some issues with the last uh, folks you were hanging out with. Well, I'm not going to get her naked, but I'm going to definitely not let her ha keep this fabulous dagger that we were got getting in our last game session. So we're going to give her... Let's actually sort our weapons. I won't take give her nothing, but I definitely want to take some stuff from her. So she had one of these, and instead of the power staff, we'll give her back a mage's staff. Ooh, we also got a werebuster. It's worse. Their organizing is weird. Former coworker said, first day after you left, it was a dumpster fire and has been ever since. I get it. My last job was a similar experience, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so we've got her out of the fancy equipment. I like his flame lance. Ooh, but his evasion goes down. No, we'll keep him in the lance. Giant's glove. This is attack go up, but again, evasion goes down. We want to give him a little bit of evasion. I like her with her power staff. Flame armor. Where did I just take off of her? I don't remember. Was knight's armor? Yeah. No, I think he's good. He's got his hair pit. Mm, yeah. Yeah, sometimes the uh, companies you work for don't know what they have until they lose you. <laughs> Werewolf. Oh no, the barbacle escaped. Nobody caught it. She still hits pretty good, even with a, a lesser weapon now that she's been along with our party for a while. Okay. A bum! Hi, bum. Elevator, go down the hole. 
Somebody's mad. I can't swim. I think we're going down, ladies and gentlemen. Are we in Sid Scott's? Where are we? Layla! Layla's missing! I think we're in... Guts. <laughs> we're in hell? No, I'm pretty sure this is Guts. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, these are digestive fluids. They are acidic, they will do damage, forced to walk through them. Find two chests, a twist headband, and a power vest. Be sure to equip these on who they benefit most. Okay. Straightforward. Juicy. Ooh. I kind of miss Layla. I really wasn't a fan of hers when I first got her. I think it's because she was so underpowered compared to my main cast here. We're about to get a new character, so I'm curious to see if he's any better. Since I've actually taken the time to level up a bit. These are the same fishes above sea, but a little uglier. Thunderbolt 8. Alright. You do you, fish. A twist headband. Oops, that would be here. Uh, so that will lower her magic defense to 61. That double weakness there. That will up both for him. Alright, my guy. You get a little twisty headband, you cutie. My little himbo cutie. have a weapon that actually is effective against aquatic creatures. I probably do. Because that sword is not doing much for Furion. I wonder if I can give him something different. Uh, description. Giant, ice, flame, striking. Effective against aquatic enemies. I don't know if he has any proficiency with that, though. A trident he does, but I'm not giving him a trident. That's weak sauce. We're gonna give him this. Let's see how he do. Power Sash. Is that armor? Oh, it's clothing. Okay, so that ups his evasion significantly. What about Guy? Ooh. I think I'm gonna give it to Guy. It defends against psychic status elements like darkness. Okay. I'm gonna give it to Guy. He's good. Oh, he missed. I don't think he has any um, use of that weapon. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. Ew, that's kind of gross looking. Feel like I should heal. It's got to be a battle coming up soon. This is like a little village inside. inside Leviathan's stomach. I, I gathered that. 
He's like Pinocchio. The bite then swallowed us all. Ooh, another power armlet. Zumak goes here. Enhances strength. So that'll boost his evasion to 19. And Maria doesn't need any more evasion. So we'll give it to Furion. Hey, watch out. Coming through. Look at this guy. He looks kind of like, um, in Final Fantasy VI, the Imperial Troops. Similar head. New arrivals, eh? So who are you? Do you know Wild Rose? Airship? Mithril. How about Dreadnought? Goddess Bell? Sunfire? Ultimate Zone. Where'd you hear about that? Miss City. I've been in Miss City. It's a town full of mages. Wyverns? What about him? What's with you people? As a matter of fact, I am a dragoon. What? The dragoons and the wyverns have all been destroyed? That's absurd. Oh, crystal rub. So, you guys are also after the ultimate dome when he got swallowed up? Well, since we're looking for the same thing, we might as well team up. There's a boat up ahead, but there's also one tough monster standing in our way. Who knows, together we might be able to take it down. The Dragoon Ricard joins the party. Okay. He's so dark and mysterious. Oh my god. With 5 MP, buddy, we gotta get you leveled. Need a better shield than that. He wants a shield, let's give him a shield. Oh, alright, let's get the best shield I can give him. Giant's gloves is good. Knight's armor is good. <laughs> you wonder what Emo Dragoon he reminds you of? Hmm. Good question, Emmy. I don't know. So that will lower his attack. Will... And he's not going to hit anyway. He's going to suck. So I think we're going to give him the golden hairpin. All right. And we want to teach him cure. And let's teach him fire. And thunder. And Blizzard. Give him a little Magi Magi Poo. That's only his all his spells. That's all he's got. He's just a little baby. Well, this just is great, isn't it? Are we supposed to live out the rest of our lives in here? No one is this none of this would have ever happened to us if it weren't for that old man and his stupid crystal rod. Ten years I've been living here. There's no way out, I'm sure, but the sooner you go up and accept it, the easier it'll be for you. Leviathan is the beast that protects the seal of the tower. It looks like it swallowed up anyone who has a crystal rod. See, I've got a crystal rod right here. Okay, Grandpa. Uh, he's totally a Stinian? Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. Oh, did I talk to this lady up here? Can I rest here? We were swallowed whole. Right when Leviathan opens its mouth, there's a second where we could escape, but there's just so many monsters. Nope, no resting. Resting is for the weary. Alright. People explain their Leviathan stomach. Apparently there are several crystal rods. Yes, I'm learning this. Just near the top. Corner. We are close to Leviathan's mouth as a result. This time we find difficult to be colored, no less dangerous saliva. Two chests on this level. Hey, Dark Meow, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Okay. 
So I guess we're just gonna go fight these bad guys. Doesn't seem like there's anything I need to know. Emmy, you're a little less corn today. Oh no. I'm only 5% corn? What? Streamlabs, you are just rude, bro. I can't believe it. So rude. So rude. It's ya boy, Dark Meow. Oh, there's treasure chests. I like treasure. Goldfish. These look the same. Okay, his hit wasn't so bad. His HP, though, is to be desired. I should level him a little bit, huh? Furion's knife leveled up. A Gaia Blade. Blade with the power of the earth, effective against grounded enemies. Could do that. But I also kind of like... Hmm. Should I give him the Gaia Blade? His ups is evasion. We're gonna give him the Gaia Blade. We'll try leveling up knives later. Saw so Gaia Blade. <laughs> it is the Gaia Blade. He knows swords. Monsters. Oh, red souls. These guys are nothing. A blade only guy can wield. There probably is one somewhere in the game. I wouldn't be surprised. Guy is my uh, my little himbo. The diamond shield. Oh, I've got those. I gave him a twisty headband, because, you know, girls gotta look special. So, I'm guessing there's gonna be a boss here. There is! It's a little wormy! Hi, little wormy! Here it is! A round worm! Make it past this thing and we can get the hell out of here on that boat! Ooh! We will do our best, sir. Alright, what do you got for magic? Let's go with... I don't think I have anything he has I want to use. Okay. So we're just going to have him attack. My girl here, she is going to... Look at all these spells they've got now. It's awesome. She's gonna berserk. She's gonna hype up your guy. And then my white mage here is going to cast protect on everybody. You're just gonna attack. Noise, noise. At least for cards hitting. Alright, uh, again, you attack, and then you're gonna hype this fella, and you're gonna cast Blink, and why don't you just cast Cure? Oh, Horsey escaped! Nobody caught Horsey! Horsey's a cute Pokemon. And then another attack. Everybody's got blank. Okay. 
Zerk Kai. Does he have any other spells? Magic defense isn't going to be useful, I think, against this guy. I really need to level up these spells. I don't really use any of them. We'll attack and attack. Seven hits. That's pretty good, Ricard. Attack. Magic. Cure. Everybody. Attack, attack. You got all the mounts in Island Sanctuary and you don't know what to do now? Lucky you. I still have to uh, get all of my... Yay, we killed the thing! Um... I still have a few rare mo monsters to get. I just will get to it eventually. I have been not min-maxing the um, currency. Instead, I've just been working on getting the Lazy Bad preset set. So at least it's going every day. Definitely have been neglecting, but that's awesome, Dark Mail. You've really been working hard if you've gotten all of the mounts. All right, we killed the roundworm. Oh yeah, I did see the picture of you with your otter fountain. I gotta get that, that looks so cool. Okay, head to the left, approach the monster, it's blocking the boat. Naturally, you must defeat its best strategy. Okay, most of your party should be well-trained, strong enough to withstand a card. Okay, Phoenix Downs, all right. So we are ready to go to the Tower of Misuja. But I'm wondering if I should level up Ricard just a tad. Might be a good idea. As long as I don't have to go back in there. He can one-hit kill her car. <laughs> oh, poor guy. All right, uh, magic. Let's work on my blizzard. Nope. Blizzard. Oh. You know, actually, I should probably just be attacking because those red blobs are really what would be effective to level against, because they don't really hit for poop. So we'll try to get a spawn of those red blobs or the black blobs. Oh, they're running. The imp's actually kind of cute. Boy, that confused didn't do you good, did it? Uh, magic. Asuna. Asuna you can, girl. Good job. Alright, at least I'm near the town. These guys are just gonna explode on me. This is the guy I wanted. Okay. You see how they don't really hit hard. So, use a fire. Use a fire. Let's have you use a blizzard on regard. You have him to a cure. Fire. 
fire card, blizzard card, card cast. Here. Doesn't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, it killed it. Alright. Well, Ricard's cure leveled up. He got 10 MP. Okay. It's not bad. Stay at the inn here. Pleasant dreams. I don't know if I care for this Ricard fella. So we still haven't found Layla. I guess she's just lost in the the annals of time. Magic, fire, magic, fire, magic, fire, magic, fire. See if he moves that cast. Oh, he does. Fine. 
Eventually, it will die. Card his HP is just falling down. Still not dead. <laughs> Should die this round. Yeah. All right, fire and holy on the top. Maria got 325 MP. Good for her. But he's getting her MP going. We love it. Oh. All right, cure eight. It's pretty good. All right, I think that's enough tries. That's gonna take forever to get Ricard leveled up to my level. So we're just gonna take a little nappy poo and pray for the best. Guess I'll swap to the emo dragoon. <laughs> he does. He looks like one of the Magitek soldiers from Final Fantasy VI. Although those red eyes are cute. Punch. Oh, many of the first. So it sounds like this tower is actually going to be a pretty tough. Dungeon. We can do it. I believe in it. Ooh, there's a white robe on the first floor. Shiny. Find a false wall along the right side to access it and equip it to anybody who casts white magic. Okay. It's an ether. I love the vampire girl. She's so cute. give you a white robe. Give 
make you the power sash then. Hi. These mantises have a lot of HPs. Second floor. More enemies are in the mix, like magic boost at red souls, blue blue black flame, power. Three chests, all looking in the top, all containing flame equipment. Two on the right, one on the left. Ignore the door at the top. When you're done, head to the lower left corner, take the bottom passage. So for two. Flame shield, flame bow, flame lance. I have all those items. I'm not going to worry about them. So when you're done, head to the lower left corner and take the bottom passage. Okay. That's where we're going. Screw the treasure. Ooh. Success. I don't like those hill guesses. They're tough boys. We can attack. Really, I don't have a lot of hit points. Surprising. This little baby fire. <laughs> well, those will attack. They should be fine. Ooh, a charm. Quit hitting yourself. You'd think if they hit themselves, they wouldn't be confused anymore. I know. Same with, um, I think the sleep mechanics in this game. Hitting somebody who's asleep does not wake them up. Those bosses actually hit, or mobs hit pretty hard. Okay. Everybody's healed back up. The guy in this himbunus really should be knocking himself out. <laughs> I mean, with the upper body, you'd think so. Boy needs a binder. Alright, floor three. It's a hot mess. So, you're forced to walk on a painful lava surface, drains your party, at each stop. You're initially confined to the lower half floor until you find the door. The door is all the way to the left, so ignore all the other doors. Once you pass through, the only way out of the tower is by completing it or using magic to escape. Once you reach the upper portion, head down and to the right to find a safe spot. Have to pass the stop. There's two more swim equipment. 
Dude, I'm passing the door and be challenged by major person. Fire Gigas. Oh. So I guess that flame stuff was important. Oh well. This reminds me of, um, the Labyrinth of the Ancients from Final Fantasy XIV, where everyone's splashing in the pool and doesn't want to take the stairs. Devil's Broom. So I take it Flame's not gonna work, so I better change up some of this weaponry. Basilisks. Those sound dangerous. Flame armor. More imps. Okay. What is that little poofy cloud? Oh, he's stoned. Oh. I knew those basculus were no good. Alright, give you golden needle. So you're good there. I did, I let them get stoned, Emmy. Carrion, let's use you as our cure bot before we go to this boss battle. Everybody needs. Ooh, Overkillers, it said we're good. What status does Ricard have with weapons? Tridents, shields, and swords. Okay. Doesn't really have anything useful. And I'm sure Guy can probably use the Ogre Killer. So give him that. So you're gonna switch the Ice Shield for a... Fiery Shield resistant to... Nope. An Icy Shield resistant to fire. That is correct. Okay. And... Flame Helm resistant. No. The Fire Helm is resistant to ice. That's the opposite of what I want, isn't it? I'm confused. Equip any flame armor you have before you proceed. Speak to ice. Okay. So. Put you in. Flame shield. I don't really want to change their armor. Flame armor. How about gloves? Nope. We'll go with that. I'm sure I'll be fine. Let's run. Oh, he's so cute, he's a little mage. You made good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent.
Oh, I should have changed his weapon. Oh well. Eh, he doesn't hit too hard. Get Berserk to you. Get my blink going. equipment back on. So, what did I change you off? I gave you that. That's good. Flame shield. I guess we'll leave that on. So the theme is going to change the ice. So I do want actually, yeah, yeah. Put that back on. Resistant to ice. Flame shield. If you I guess I don't have anything for you. Um could put you in flame armor. I'll put you in flame armor. And you've got an ice shield resistant to fire. Do I have any more fire I don't have any more fire shields? Okay. I'm gonna go with that. I do one with health. I'm good. Okay. So the equipment you're gonna find is ice. Most enemies in the next couple floors will be weak against flame weapons you found after collecting the ice shield. The chest climb up the stairs. A quick detour. Okay. Um so flame. Let's put your flame lance back on. Flame sword. Beautiful. Okay. An ice shield. Collecting the ice shield from the chest, climb up the stairs for a quick decor through pool five. There's an ice lance. Okay. Hi, vampire girl. So it's saying I should take this detour to floor five to get this icy lance. Ooh, no. Run. Congrats, he ran. The scuppied. Hmm. That seemed a little too risky. Through the deeds are. Then return to the fourth floor and continue making your way around the floor in a counterclockwise direction, collecting the remaining two pieces of famous equipment until you reach the stairs to the fifth floor. Okay, so. Two remaining. Oh, one, two. I see it now. Lost my Obius. Where'd you go, Obius? There you go.
Ice equipment is new. I do not recall having ice equipment. Icy gloves. It's a new item. This is the thing that made me stoned. It's that gaze mechanic. All too familiar with those. Um. Resistant to fire. I bet he is. Thunder. 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 There he goes. These guys need fire. That's kind of cool actually, as the fire spell levels up, the animation changes. I didn't realize that. It's kind of neat. Ambushed. Can I make this? Wasn't as noticeable in the original? Yeah! I don't know if that is in the original, but it definitely is in this one. It gets a little more epic each time you level up your spells. Alright, we need... You've got the most HP and MP. Get everybody's HP back up. Base armor. Do I want to be wearing that stuff? No, I'm good with that. Ooh, you need your white robe back. Maybe, um, you could wear that. Ice gloves. Ice gloves. Ooh, no. Ice gloves, we'll get your defense up. Text to May. No. Doesn't really help anybody. Right, we are on the fifth floor. Nice theme continues. Forced to walk across shards. Pay attention to your health. After the first long passage, there is a shortcut. When you see a small hallway to your right, the dead ends. Walk through it and you'll discover a false wall. Head right to the chest. Equip any defensive ice equipment you have, along with flame weapons. Pass through the door. Okay. So... Go up here. There should be a false wall. Maybe it's right there. Ooh, ice lizard. Perfect. Oh, I did not want to fight this thing. Oh! I guess it's not as scary now that I've leveled up. The card almost just got one shot in. Alright. 
So we said put on flame weapons. Be the feed the frost gates. Okay. So you've got a flame sword already. Flame lads. You want an ice shield. No. Flame shield. Resistant to ice. Flame lance. I don't think I have a fire based item for her. That's okay. I think I'll survive. You made good progress, but you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent. Okay. Attack. Berserk. Attack. Yeah. Berserk leveled up and protect. Okay. I'm gonna put that back on you. I guess the armor doesn't matter to you, does it? Oh, an ice lance. Be a nice lance. All right, sixth floor. What do we got going on on the sixth floor? Then? So we got small passages, two chests. First is far to the right contains a potion or elixir and remakes. You must navigate across the pack of those pursuits in the middle, then out to the right. Ignore both doors that you encounter on the right side. Stay on the passages to the bottom, to the left before you reach the door. Open the chest along the isolated path contains the wizard staff, a powerful weapon which can cast scourge in battle. Okay. So this supposedly is an elixir. Ooh. Ouch. This looks kinda spooky. Chimeras off the bat. Let's see how we do. Blaze, okay. I can take it. Ricard, don't be so rude. It is an elixir. Okay. Devil's balloon, devil's balloon.
think his baskets are a little tough because they have the ability to turn you to stone. <laughs> we try. Alright. Thunder. Thunder. Fire. Oops, not blizzard, fire. Fire. Okay. Preemptive strike. Attack, 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 attack. Wizard staff, is it better? Cast Scourge when used, imbued with poison. much for damage. Copied. Okay. This floor is weird. This floor has a fairly open plan, sprinkled columns, three chests, all of which contain some status changing item that can be used in battle. There are also three doors along the right half which should be avoided. The only door to investigate is the one on the upper left. This leads to the third mage, who turns into a Thunder Gigas. He has lightning powers, but is weak against poison. So the wizard staff you picked up earlier is a good start. Nothing else would be that effective. Cast. It's necessary. He has a chance to drop Confuse. Ooh. 
is cool. So we just want to go up there. Mm. Yeah, that's right. How are we doing with HP? You should be good. You made good progress. This transformation's a little different. Wow. How do you do with that? 200 damage? Oh yeah. This is gonna be hard. Stuff. Was it shown? Magic defense. for a little bit. Thunderbolt 12. Oh, it's not scary. Defeated. Let's see if he drops the confused spell. What am I done with this tower? All right. Kyrian got some HP out of that. Guy got spirit and stamina. Card got some stuff. We got the flare tome. He just flare deals combustion damage. I think flare is actually a really rare spell. It's probably better than confuse, honestly. All right. Heal back up. We're on the eighth floor. So we got a small hallway. Each hallway contains a door. Challenge to find the one door which actually leads to the next floor. All the other doors are traps. Whether you discover on your own or by reading this walkthrough, the door you see <laughs> is near the upper right corner. But before you go through, be sure to check the chest at the very bottom of the room. It contains a flare tongue, which also leads a force fight against the Devil's Bloom plant and two of the Gado's enemies that you fought when you took back House of Flynn. You may have even been fortunate to obtain the powerful Ripper Knife dropped by Grottos on occasion. Where? Oh, is it in the room? Okay, so it's gotta be in the room. I think. Yeah. Tap. 
Attack, attack, attack. I love when I can just plow my way through. Oh. Boys. Oh, she's confused and poisoned. She's gonna kill Ricard. Almost. Okay. Beautiful. I have two of them now. Didn't get the rare item though. Oh well. So I think it was 4 8. Horse fight. Upper right corner. So this is the door I bought right over here. Mm. Those Barbaros don't look friendly. Bye! Floor 9, alright. So this floor has three chests, one of which leads to an interesting fight. From the entrance, head left to find Frost. Return to the right, investigate above entrance to find an hourglass. Ooh, there's black robes. Near the top is a chest which contains the black robes. That's what I want. How do you actually... So we gotta cross this staircase. I think Guy or uh, Maria needs some black robes. Eight of them? That's a lot of imps. Gotta love her evasion. Oh. That'd be a punker card. Naughty flowers, naughty naughty. Right, monsters. 
a white dragon. dead. A nice bow. Black robes. All right, we use our phoenix down to bring the card back from the dead. <laughs> um, carry on. Use your cure. Everybody cure. Let's see, Maria. Raises your intellect, resistant elemental attacks. Can lower your defense, but up your magic defense. Let me give that to you. We'll give you the black guard for now. Why not? Ooh, a Clefairy! Clefairy's so cute! I don't know if I have any Pokeballs. Oh, evidently I do. So, one of the four doors, it's the second from the left. Oh no, Emmy, you're out of balls! Yeah, if you scroll down on my um, Twitch page, you'll see the extension where you can buy some more fucking O's. Double confusion. Naughty little imps. Boy, I am burning through mana. Oh, Clefairy escaped. Nobody caught it. Sag. That was incorrect. This door. There we go. Their attacks don't really hurt, but I confuse. Really is rough. Got it. Oh. Magic. As soon as you can, Maria. As soon as you can. All right. So the tenth floor is wide open. Contains no enemies. <laughs> Strength, spirit. Hold on. Okay. 
So, there's nothing here to collect. It's our buddy Minwoo! I missed him! I've been waiting for you, Firion. Though I've managed to reach the seal, the magic binding it appears to be extremely strong. It will concentrate every bit of power I have on the door. If it is enough, the seal should shatter. Everyone, stand back. Aww. Kamehameha! Aww. Minwu. Go through the door. You must take Ultima. Do not grieve. This, this was my destiny. Minwu. I bestow upon thee the power of the burning flame. Your strength increased. The crystal responds, I bestow upon thee the quiet solitude of earth. Your spirit increased. The crystal responds. I bestow upon thee the swiftness of brisk winds. Your agility increased. I bestow upon thee the sparkling clarity of water. Your intellect increased. The crystal responds, I bestow upon thee the ultimate magic. You obtained the ultimate home. Cool. Guess that's it for the tower. Guess we better go back to the castle? <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 I'm gonna use a cottage since we're out here. Some sorts of goodies in there. Oh, I can literally use that. Okay. I'm not ready yet. I'll just go back up here. Ooh, these are bad guys. Something happened. These are not the same enemies, and it looks like our towns are destroyed. That's not good. Alright. 
and the enemies have gotten stronger. Those big horns are so adorable though. I love them. I peeked ahead at the god. This is indeed a turning point in the game. Oh no! <laughs> Everybody's dead. Again. A cyclone appeared out of nowhere and started sucking people in. It was horrible the way it moved. It almost seemed to have some sort of consciousness. Even if we had an army of you, it wouldn't help us in time. How can we fight a cyclone? Uh the ultimate magic, probably. Can't ask him anything? Did any of this do anything to you, Paul? No? How about the canoe? Okay. Ask him about the cyclone, he'll be so impressed by your brave intention. Okay. I have not learned about the cyclone yet. Oh, don't need to pray. No prayers required here. So I need to maybe castle first? <laughs> Alright, so yes, we're gonna need to go to the castle. Oh! Look at that! Altair. Puffed, they were all destroyed by the Emperor Cyclone. If it attacks Finn again, we won't stand a chance. Are we completely powerless at the hand of the Emperor's magic? If we can create a cyclone like that, there's no limit to his power. Going inside would be suicide, it'd be torn to shreds. You don't think the Emperor could be inside the cyclone, do you? This is Castle Flynn! We will not rest until peace is restored upon the world. The audience chamber is right this way. Prince Gordon awaits. He's such a jerk. Oh look, it's Layla! When the storm kicked up and ship went out, I got separated from you. Thought you were dead for sure. It's good to wrong now and again. Hilda! The Emperor's fall magic can control even the winds. Poft, Palum, Altair, Gatreya, each was destroyed in turn. And now the Cyclone is headed for Finn. Cyclone? The Emperor himself is controlling the Cyclone, I've no doubt. The ultimate magic is in our hands, but what good does it do us? The Cyclone will kill us before we even have a chance to use it. Unless we can sprout wings and learn to fly, I don't see how we can get into that cyclone. Okay. Let's go talk to Paul.
Yo, Paul, I got a new key term. You're planning on going into that thing. You do realize that's insane, right? Tell you what, I've been keeping a few things stashed away and I want you to have them. Try feeling around near the wall, around the wall near my bed. Okay. Boom. Ooh. Look at all this stuff. Ooh. Blood sword. It steals HP from its opponents. So that's a unique item. And it remains for some only sword of its kind. Doesn't create special sword, but it drains away its hit points to the other. Particularly useful in a Okay, holding onto it is quite essential. Alright. Um. What else did I get? Something ruby. Maybe not. Uh, Ruby Curious. Oh, it's terrible. Okay. So the Blood Sword was the one that was cool. I'll put it on you for now. You do so much damage, it's fine. So before we go to the castle, I'm going to take a brief break. I will be right back in just a few.
and I'm back. So just a quick self-care reminder. If you have not had a chance, definitely refresh your beverage, grab a cheeky little snack. Uh, if you need a nice warm blanket to uh, cozy in, feel free to grab that and we're going to continue our adventure. Okay. All right, let's save the game and let's ask Hilda about wyverns. Maybe that egg that we uh, ha put down is doing something. Ah, Emmy made chocolate chip cookie bars with yellow cake mix earlier. Ooh, that does sound yum. All right, let's ask you. Long ago, we summoned wyverns by reflecting the light of the pendant off the castle's mirror. Do I have that? I have a pendant. Okay. I think the mirror is over here. Super to easy to make. Yeah. I used to love making um, chocolate chip cookie bars, and then I would add just a touch of Kahlua coffee liqueur to them. Oh, those were so delicious. Okay. Climb. Take the mirror. You must return to the first floor. Look at the stairs. I did remember recalling a mirror, so I think the entrance is down here. Stairs. Stair. Oh, stairs. Stairs. There's stairs. Ah, uh, yes. Key items pendant. The mirror absorbs the light emitted by the pendant. It's Yoshi. The image of a young wyvern shimmers in the mirror. The last wyvern egg is finally hatched, and the wyvern is speeding to Flynn. Oh, how cute! I has new friend! Wyvern and Dragoon together once more. Oh, she went in the cyclone. Okay. Everybody's rested. They got their HPs and MPs. Is there anything I want to switch? Nah. All right, let's just peek ahead at Cyclone. So the Cyclone is located behind the cast. Now that you have the Wyvern at your disposal, you can approach the base on foot. Okay, the Wyvern will deposit you at the base of the fortress. While you won't see the wyvern, you can summon her in battle to use her fiery breath. Select items and select all to wyvern. That's cool. The main theme of this forge is that most forests contain two staircases. Next level one, which leads to treasure and dead ends, and another which takes you up to the next floor. Depending on how leveled up your party is, the difficulty of the monsters you face will vary, although a few, if any, require special strategy. Okay, start out on the first floor. I guess we'll just head over there then. Whee! 
I should be, uh... Give the ultimatum to Guy. Did I give anyone the flare tone? Maria. Alright. So as you walk counterclockwise, you know, it's the first two sort of signals from four, you'll find your code powerful knife known as the Ripper. There's a poison axe. Okay. We're just gonna attack. Pray for the best. A curse tome. So you say I should take just the first one. So where's this liver item? Blaze 7. Doesn't hit very strong, does it? Text multiple times. I don't think anyone has. Proficiency with knives. Guy does a little. Could give it to Guy. What's he got right now? It's Ice Lance. I'll give it to you to try. Why not? Guide says continue up. new baddie. Ooh. That blood sword just sucked a ton of HP from him. Ooh, Lamia. I remember you. You tried to seduce me earlier. It was rude. Poison eggs. Okay. Now return to the first floor. So Maria has work. Tony is cute. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, 784. That's so funny. There's only one door to go up. Huh? Self destruct. Didn't kill him. Head left to the second staircase and up, follow short path to flare to come to. Okay, so we want to go up this first staircase. I'm not sure, babe. I haven't seen her. Our ponies. Ooh, a wild grimer appeared. I think I got one last time I streamed on to pop up randomly. A unicorn horn. That's cool. Okay. Got two chests up here. I told you she'd be out there. Ooh, a paralyze and poison effect. Wish no bueno. Hi, Miba. That's funny. Items. A diamond helm. I don't think I want that, do I? Resistant to lightning. No. No. Gonna be a lightning boss. Punch, punch, punch. Slash, slash, slash. Guys, knife leveled up. Very nice. Diamond gloves. Nope. Nope. The wizard. They look spooky. But they cast some bad spells. Osmos and Warp. Oh, I dropped some cool magic books. Okay. So we want to go back up. That's cool that knife hits a couple times. No, thank you.
Take the left staircase first. Okay. Will do. Oh. These guys drop a good spell tome, I guess. But they're also really annoying. Ooh. Bacchus wine. That was not the item. Ignore the electrified section, continue the bottom. The right one can use Thunder Blade, the left one offers diamond armor. So the diamond armor I don't need. I'm good on the diamond armor. I don't want to fight an unnecessary battle. Guys, knife leveled up again. That's rude. They will destroy you. More Bacchus one. Defender. So it's a sword. Ooh. We're gonna give that to you. Make sure evasion go up. Okay. Ignore the stairs. Means nothing but empty rooms. Okay. So we're gonna ignore that staircase. It's just a trap. And we're not gonna get that chest. Hard to sleep. Okay, well, up the staircase. And looks like just another up. Oh. So that, those are all empty rooms, right? Right there, you'll see a chest. Inside you'll find a wood flute, which was the power to summon a cyclone in battle. However, particularly if it is a green dragon. Poison base, weak against lightning. Dragon can also be poisoned. Make sure to use poison axes. This text from the blood sword. Okay. These wood golems aren't so bad with the blood sword equipped.
Alright, green dragon. Keep the circ. That healed him. All right, he's down. A diamond helm. And a wooden flute. Okay. Oh, wow. Walk to the top of the room, approach the Emperor, he will speak to you, very successful royal guard. And kind of went throughout the fortress. I'll try to see the trick. Okay. There he is. So. You've revived the wyverns, and now here you are. Yet you are but insects, unworthy even of being crushed under my foot. Bro can't fight his own battles, huh? What a shame. So, you've some skill after all. Let us see how you manage against this. Mm -hmm. Quite extraordinary, really. It would appear I've sorely underestimated you. You should consider that I am about to do you a great honor. I shall kill you personally. Wow, that blood sword is clutch. over. We should go back to Finn. They'll be waiting.
through your efforts, you finally defeated the Emperor. Thank you. The world was shrouded in darkness, but now the light of peace shines once more. Therion, Maria, Guy, Ricard. What more could we ask of you? The tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now let us celebrate. Many have come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. We're having a party. How come Layla's all by herself? Makes me sad. And where's Guy? My ladies, my lords, the Dark Knight Leon has declared himself Emperor. He's reorganized the Palamecian Empire. He'll send troops. He'll, he'll slaughter us all. Ooh. It can't be. Leon. Well, Leon, the Dark Knight, but I thought he was your friend, your brother. I'll go to him. I'll make him understand. He must be under the spell of the Emperor, I know it. If he's ascended the Emperor's throne, there's only one place he can be. Palamecia. Castle Palamecia is a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. Okay. Leon, the Dark Knight, do you really think you can fight Maria's brother? This is our battle. You have to let us finish it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Just make sure you come back an impregnable fortress. Luckily, Paul doesn't know the meaning of the word. I've heard him bragging about breaking in. Okay. Paul's always bragging about he broke into that place. Lev you ear off about it if you give him enough chance. Well, that's enough, really. Okay. Guess we gotta go to Paul. Just when we got the Emperor out of our hair, Dark Knight has to go up and louse things up again. Oh look, it's Sid. That cyclone really did a number on me back in Paloon. Ugh, my body isn't taking too kindly to the idea of moving around. Always oh, gonna go take a nap. Sid okay? I'm a mess is what I am. But my iron ship made it through without a scratch. I'll lend it to you. That's lend you here. I'll be wanting her back. You take good care of her. Sid, Sid, no, hold on. Oh, yet another tragic death that could have been avoided. So many deaths in this game. That was Sid's dying wish, you know. He knew he was dying. He was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart and he entrusted it to you. Think about that. 
Uh, well, that time I snuck into the castle, I used a kite to land on the roof. The only way is in from above, from the sky. Okay. I got an airship. Did I rest? No. We're gonna rest. nice of the map to uh, scroll around. Oh, your ship's all the way over there. I have to go get it? How rude. Look at all these baddies. Indeed, Sergeant. Sea Dragon. I wonder if they destroyed the um, snow town too. Yay, I has airship. Oh no, this town's still here. They didn't wipe Salamand off the map. Cool. Joseph was a cool character. No, honey, he's not coming back. He's gone. Dragoon? I am the last Dragoon. Your father was a good friend. Plan to get revenge enough for him and everyone else. Once the Empire's dead, we'll be back. And once I am, I'll raise you to be a fine Dragoon. Okay, I guess. All I know is I wanted to get rid of that Emperor. Ricard, you're alive. Alina, where are Philip? They've all been killed. They have. After you left, we lost the Wyverns. Then it's only a matter of time. Alina, I want you to be strong. I'm here. When the fighting is over, I'll come back. You and Kane look after Deuce for me until then. Mm. Kind of hoping I can see the cute little wyvern again. Mm. That is not the exit. Is this town gone too? Nope, this town's still alive too. So they just try every town. Oh, we've got a raid! Hey, Plunge, come on in. Give you a shout out there. Uh, if y'all aren't following Plunge, definitely recommend it. Cool, awesome retro streamer. Come on in, everybody. How is your stream? How is your evening? We are 
doing pretty good here finishing up Final Fantasy 2 um, just got our airship which is exciting I can fly although so far though half the world is destroyed so I don't know how useful the airship is at this point in the game but nonetheless we has airship uh, you have your attention. All right. Awesome. Yes, I am slowly progressing through every Final Fantasy. We have finished Final Fantasy 1, the Pixel Remaster on stream, and uh, now we are most of the way through. Thank you for the follow, Obsessive Repulsive. We're almost through uh, number two. Hey, Robert Douglas, how are you? Uh, so it's going good. It's going good. How about you, Plunge? How was your stream? And if you don't know me, I am Effector of Change, also known as Anthony is my name. Uh, I do a variety of things, including JRPGs, uh, some retro, uh, and I think I'm going to start a little cozy gaming as well. Um, that's going to be a new slot for Thursdays, um, typically here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I also have a Discord where I post my things if you're at all interested in following along there slowly in the works of gathering party members to run a Strixhaven Magic University D&D campaign on stream. Um, so there's lots of cool stuff there if you're interested. Yes, getting the airship is always a cool moment. For sure, for sure. It's sad that uh, Sid had to die to make it happen, but you know, it is what it is. Here's the beautiful airship I now have in my possession. Uh, you played some indie horror demos. Ooh. Yes, I've been seeing a lot of people posting about their uh, spoopy, spoopy game times. I will not be doing spoopy games in October. Just not my personal preference. So if y'all are like me and just want to have some cozy times feel free to follow along uh sid is a remarkable history of getting messed up in these games absolutely he does this is final fantasy 2 the pixel remaster of the game it was released on steam not too long ago i think it was either this year or last year um this is the pixel remaster that we're currently embarking on we are getting ready to get to the Empire. Let's save my game now. Yeah, two is, Final Fantasy 2 is definitely different compared to some of the other mainline games I've played in the past. Ooh. That healed the vampire girl. That's not good. They're so cute though. I do really like the vampire girl. Ambushed. Oh no. Yeah, the blood sword. Heals are okay. Car. Oh well. Not the end of the world. And then they took go down the hole. Alright, we on the first floor. So I am not 100% completing this game. We are just trying to get through the game itself. <laughs> So I do have a strategy guide I'm following along with to guide my playthrough. So I just want to make sure there's anything cool I'm missing down here. So after you're down here, head down a quarter, find a chest queen and diamond curious, equip if you like, return to the top. Okay. So we want to I guess enter that staircase. Climb the second floor. Okay, there's an hour by, so that's nothing special I want. Okay, so we do want to wrap all the way to the bottom. Preemptive strike. Those are helpful. 
give me your HP. Goodbye. I don't think I want that. Try it with armor. <sighs> oh, wood golem. Such cute. <laughs> that is a dead end for sure. Ooh, that's a new enemy. The floating skull. He's cute. Reminds me of a D&D monster. Hi, Amoeba. Square Enix coming in with the puns. They all love it. Yeah, and Plunge, by the way, if you need to raid and run, totally understandable. I'm sure you've been streaming for a while. If you uh, got a dip and take care of you, feel free. Feel free. There is no obligation. Appreciate the raid. As well as uh, your community. If you should uh, also find yourself inclined, feel free. Thank you for joining me. Second floor. More chests on the second floor. Yeah. Skull is pretty weak to poison. Encounter packs of goddess. Keep your health up. Okay. I'll back up to the top. Find a buckler. Castle. Next set of stairs. Alright, so it looks like this treasure is also worthless. Hey, Shane with a Y. How's it going? Give you a little shout out here. Shane with a Y is uh, super fun. I was watching him do some art streaming or music streaming, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Making some tunes on Chrome. <laughs> Trying to record some bits, I think you were doing. It's lots of fun. Shane's cool. We're just working uh, to get through the castle. Hope you're having a fabulous morning, I'm assuming, because I think you're in Australia, right? <laughs> how's the uh, how's the future looking? Let us know. Australia, yeah, since afternoon. The future looks bright. That's good to know. Good news. <laughs> uh, today, uh, where I am, I'm on the northeast coast of the U.S. Um, it's pretty cold, wet, and gray. That was our day yesterday, or today. Which is okay. It's this time of year. Very typical. The colors are popping though with the leaves, so I guess it's not the end of the world. All right, just wrapping around. So many amoebas. Kaboom. I got the poison. A little antidote can fix that in a chef. There's that really cool skull enemy. It's cute. The guy's little knife is doing pretty good now that he's gaining some mastery in it. Okay. Third floor. What's on the third floor? So walk to the top and then head left. Follow this passage to a chest. You'll find a thunder spear and you'll fight an imperial shadow. Okay. 
It's up to the left, I think. Head left. Okay. Yeah, another interesting quirk of Final Fantasy II I've noticed is that the bosses that you fight in the game end up becoming trash mobs in later content. So this Gatos was definitely a boss we fought earlier in the game. And now we're just getting tons of them in this dungeon. Oh, he looks like the Emperor. Poisoned. <gasps> How did he die? Uh huh. Um. Okay. Let's <laughs> get a phoenix down. Him again. Okay. <laughs> it's down. the life spell, don't I? Actually, I think he has the life spell. Guy does. Um, so let's do a little cure action. Oh, I see what's happening. The blood is healing him. I think this might be uh, a wipe. <laughs> Get rid of that skull. Get a little cure action. Soon I need Esuna, not Basuna. Okay. I think I might need to just follow this battle. You love my overlay? Aw, thanks, Shane. I just made it um, over the weekend kind of get things going for 
you know, a more regular stream. So I'm glad you like it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna kill the shadow. He's a tough boy. That's definitely curious. Do you know attempt to cast strain by the opposite effect? And a thunder sphere. Half version of the defense looks cast death in person. I think I just need to die. I don't think I'm gonna be able to defeat him. So let's let him kill me. Uh, Sheen says that's amazing, inspires you to try and create something yourself. Aww. Well, I had a big help from Canva, so I can't uh, <laughs> take all the credit. The templates that are there and the elements that you're able to find are really fun. Um, so I kind of found one that I kind of liked the layout of and then customized what I thought was cute. Like making this little froggy camera overlay. Love it. Love it so much. Boy, guy just won't die. Oh shit. Guy killed it. Alright. Well, we got our thunder spear. <laughs> Um, I think Guy has a life spell. He does. Uh, Canva is really useful. Did you use Canva Premium? Thinking I should try out to create something. I'll just take advantage of experiments. You... Yes. I have Canva um, Premium for uh, my day job. Um, so kind of borrowing it for streaming as well for the night job <laughs> but yes I definitely would recommend using Canva premium to me I think it's the licensing right because you can make all sorts of interesting things and it's your content I mean obviously I think the way the trade-off for Canva is that you know they can also utilize your designs that you make in some element um so never make your own like channel logo or something like that with Canva because they will then own your content. But yeah, absolutely for like an overlay or something like that, it is perfect. Um, can I use this as soon? I can. Okay. Well, I hope Ricard that was worth it to get a Thunder Spear. <laughs> Time. Uh, Lamaya, Lamia's attack, attack, attack. Oh, uh, hey, Lagaya, come on in. How's it going? Give a shout out to one of my favorite uh, Final Fantasy fourteen uh, DJs doing the community quite the service with all the beautiful uh, content you do there. I am having a good stream, thank you. So if y'all aren't following like that, you should definitely be following them. They are fantastic. Yep, we are deep in the Emperor's Castle. We are, I think, the second to last dungeon before this game is complete. So I will probably save the last dungeon for the final stream of Final Fantasy 2 before we move into Final Fantasy 3. Alright, um... All sorts of stuff on this floor. Is there anything I particularly want? Do, 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 do. Spirit and just some grass. path reaches the door. Inside the door is room with three treasure chests, each containing a different staff. Ooh, I want that. 
Because we do want to go down there. Oh, more skulls. Oh, that is a cute little effect that he uses. Golems, no piggy. Got my drain sword. Oh no! The name of guy was taken, Saj. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> you know, I had the same kind of issue when it came to Twitter. Um, my Twitch name, Effector of Change, is too many characters for Twitter to let me create an account. So I had to change that to um, change effector, just kind of switching it up to less than a couple characters. It's kind of silly. You've been Lagaya for 17 years, the name of your WoW character in 2004. Ha! Ah, noise, noise. My first WoW character's name was Zarase. She was a fire blood elf mage named for the character in Suikoden. I had a friend who was big into that game. I played that game. It was a good PS1 game. Kind of an interesting JRPG. Got a healing staff, a wizard staff, and a mage's staff. So I have the wizard staff. Let's give you... A staff that restores whomever it attacks. I guess I don't want to give you that. It's kind of silly to give them. <laughs> Should I give it to him? Oh dear. Although that sword could uh, be better. Oh well. Nobody's turning us to stone. We're good there. Another stone golem. Thank you for all of the HP, buddy. so powerful at this stage of the game. All the cool weapons, armor, and abilities, and like... I think the one thing I'm not liking is how challenging it is to actually level up your magic spells in the game. I am honestly really ignoring magic. Unless I need it. Ooh, okay. Decisions. We are on a new floor. your own party members. Uh, from here, you arrive on the fifth floor. You'll find another set of stairs working to the left. Climb them to the next floor. So you'll find the powerful sun blade guarded by the Lamia Queen. Okay. Healed it for too much. Punch, punch, shock, shock, 
chop, chop. Sunblade sounds cool. Sorry for healing you, Mr. Skull. I know it's confusing. So there is a staircase connected? Okay. The passenger this back to the top of the staircase. Find the staircase. So there's three elixirs. Ooh, that's a clutch item. Blaster. Ooh. My guys are paralyzed. Um. That's not good. What do we need? Magic. Kill the kitty. Asuna. Hit miss. I think I'm going to die. We were defeated. That's okay. Start from recent duta. Yes. Try again. Oh, continue your way through. Punch, punch, punch. We will try again. Ooh, generals. These guys are actually pretty tough, I think. Oh yeah, 780 damage. Good thing I've got that dream. Magic. Oops, leveled up my cures. Let's try again. Monsters. How is it that one hit can knock them out? unusual. Everybody's sleeping. All right, get you back up. Cure yourself. 
care of him. We got the Sunblade. Effective against Undead. Cool. Uh, let's get the card standing. And let's use your magic on yourself. You're not really using your MP anyway. Da, da, da. <laughs> Beautiful. That doesn't go anywhere, but it does go to this room with the three chests. So that's a good one to go visit. Dude. Yay! Every time there's battle music. Chooch, 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 chooch. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Nabuo Oimatsu is a master um, at making music. That's one thing I've really enjoyed so far about playing this version of the games, the Pixel Remaster series, is the updated music. Because that chiptune soundtrack of the NES, <laughs> it's a little grating in today's day and age for me. Two generals. Big toughies. Yes, they, they did really do what they could. This is correct. Yeah, my very first Final Fantasy I played was Final Fantasy VI, which at that time was known as three on the Super Nintendo. And they... Uh, they did everything they could to get as much out of the space on that cartridge because the music of that game in my mind is still some of the most memorable music I've ever heard in a video game. I remember um, the opera scene, I loved it so much <laughs> that I downloaded sheet music and I brought it to my um, elementary school music teacher I was like, can you please learn this? <laughs> <laughs> I dug it that much. Your first was nine. I need to get into nine. I've played it many times, but I've never actually completed the game. So hopefully as I uh, work my way through them, that will be one I play. And I have it, I think, on my, my Steam list, so 
Shouldn't be too hard. Your first was eight. Oh, eight was good with Laguna. Seven was the first one I think that, that made me cry. Um, eight then did it as well. <laughs> Freaked out when you heard Hunter's Chance in the PvP trailer for 14. Yeah. This dungeon is grindy. Oops. I healed that. Oh well. Yeah, 14 is a very engaging game. There's so many things to do when it, you get lost. I didn't discover um, what bicolor gems were until Endwalker, so I had to go back and do all of my Shadowbringers ones because I didn't even know it was a thing. I think I still have a few to finish in Rectica, maybe. But I did get all the Endwalker done, um, Endwalker fates done, um, back when each one had an instance. I'm very thankful I did, because once those instances disappeared, it was much harder to farm those fates. It's very a pain, a much a painful, painful grind when you do it in Shadowbringers. Beautiful. More generals. Thank you. Dead, dead, dead. So much dead. All right. Heal. Seventh floor. This is where I started. Okay. Six, seventh, ultimately eighth floor is the fortress. When we reach the eighth floor. Okay. We're just gonna go up this way. Treasure chest over there. Skulls. Oh no, he turned me into a toad. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've actually been turned into a toad. Maiden's kiss. So these treasure chests contain Hellfire and a wind flute. Yeah. Not worth struggling to get those. Let's fight the boss. <laughs> the dude's so cute though. I love it. Maria makes a cute dude. Alright. 
Let's do... High potion. Does it tell you how much? No. That's a chunk, for sure. About 500. All right, and ethers. There, everybody's got some MP. I expected you'd come, Virion. Do you really think you can kill me? Stop! Both of you. Why do you insist on fighting, Leon? Weak words from the weak. Do you know what rules the world? Power. Sheer power. The Imperial Throne is mine. The weak cannot survive without the strong to control them. How many lives did the rebels throw away when they chose to oppose the Empire? Delusions of grandeur do not become you, Leon. Though I find the thought of you as Emperor quite deliciously absurd, it ends now. This world can have but one Emperor, and I am he. You're alive? What are you? Not that it matters, the Empire is mine now, and I have no intention of handing it over. The Empire? <laughs> I've no need for such trifles now. All the world shall fall by my hand, and the powers I gained in hell. And your blood will be the first to spill. Call the wyvern. You can use it to escape. Uh-oh. I should have unequipped him! <laughs> Ricard, what are you doing? You may have little trouble spilling the blood of Ricard Highwind, last of the Dragoons. Pathetic insect. I will enjoy making you rue those words. May the spirits of Dragoons lend me their strength. Ricard! Ah, spider! Virion, what's happened? Y you you're the Dark Knight. You'd best start explaining. The Emperor's risen from hell. Ricard. Ricard died so we could escape. Joseph. Minwu Sid. Ricard. All dead. I don't know how much more I can take. As long as the Emperor lives, more will die. Leon. Princess, let Leon join us, please. The Dark Knight, a rebel. I leave that decision to you. Leon, let's fight the Emperor together, please. Maria, Furion, all right. Leon during the party. Sweet.
What are we seeing now? Ooh, what's that? I'm assuming that must be a new point of interest. Guess we'll save a game. It sucks that I lost whatever he had equipped. Oh, well. Well, fair adventurers, I think that is a fabulous place to uh, pause our adventure in Final Fantasy II. Let me kick, uh, get this game to be quiet for me. <laughs> it's a little loud sometimes when I'm trying to pay attention. Uh, yeah, so just uh, doing a couple shout outs for myself. If you are interested in keeping up with me, I have all of my socials right there on the link tree. We also have a Discord that I started as well. If you want to be part of that community, feel free to join us. Um, it's pretty small so far, but hopefully we'll, we'll continue to grow. Um, let me take a peek and see who's on right now for us to do a little bit of a raid, shall we? Pop over here to Twitch. It's a little slow. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who we got? We've got Mog Talk. What's Mog Talk doing? Yeah, if y'all have any recommendations for any uh, cozy, family friendly streamers to uh, raid, I am open to recommendations. Looks like Mog Talk is doing an unboxing stream. Interesting. Trying to get through the ads. <laughs> oh, again, apologies tonight on uh, being a little late. I had planned to start at 8.30, but as life is, it did not quite work out that way. Um, always Monica's on doing Cult of the Lamb. Monica's a pretty cool, cozy streamer. That might be a good option to check out her stream. Do y'all be interested in hanging out with a cozy streamer doing some dark and spoopy cult of the lamb? Because we could go do that. That's what I'll probably choose. So if uh, you enjoyed uh, the stream and you aren't following, definitely recommend you following so you get that notification when I go live on Twitch. And I'm a Factor of Change. Uh, Right now, the stream is scheduled for Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursday evenings, Eastern Time. Um, looking to expand from there once I kind of get that regular schedule going. But I think for now, we're going to get our raid started. So if you would like um, to copy my raid message, there it is. Uh, feel free to copy that as we go visit our friend Monica. This does this to me all the time. The raid chat is like, that's not a real username. <laughs> How about that? There it goes. Didn't like the at sign. Didn't like the at sign. So thank you again for joining me. I hope to see y'all tomorrow. I think we're going to be playing some Toomba two from the playstation game the platformer um yeah take care have a good one bye bye
Thank you.